Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Hive Swap Prince Sim. Uh, we just got done playing Galek, who was a good, lovely, self-conscious boy, uh, who was very fun. I like him. He has a very under—he has a very understated personality, but it is there, and I like him. Uh, next is time for uh, Aquamarine. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is really time for uh, Torona Kesmund. Uh, who I'm now imagining with a British accent because she reminds me of Aquamarine from Steven Universe. Um, she's even kind of... Uh, she's not... Uh, I mean, that's that's not really the Aquamarine color. It's like... Aquamarine is bluer than greener, I think. But, but nonetheless, she looks like Aquamarine. So that's who she is now. So here you are! <laughs> well, this got off to a bad start. So here you are, in jail. You always knew you would end up here eventually. But you were expecting a human jail, not this. What was your life like on Earth, MSPA reader? It all happened so fast. You were waltzing down another Alternian street in search of friends when you heard the telltale si sound of machinery behind you. And before you could es escape, some giant metal drone with a rocket ass swooped up and flew away with you. You were honestly surprised that the drone didn't execute you on sight. They've tried to do that before, after all. Perhaps your numerous shenanigans have grown so vast and ridiculous. Someone wants to see you in person die, and before wants to see you in person before you die. If only you have the chance to ask, if if only to have the chance to ask you what the fuck. <laughs> Protag was arrested for homestead crimes on Maine. In any case, you aren't complaining. Not, not about being brought in alive, at least. You have plenty of other things to complain about, though. This cell sucks. It's hard and cold and full of this gross-looking moss that could probably kill you since everything else on this planet sure can. There's a couple of patchwork holes in the, black, in the back wall of your cell, which aren't enough to wiggle your way through, but are enough to let in the light from outside. You've been in here since a few hours before dawn, and now it's midday, which means scorching rays of sunlight are streaming their way into your cell and forcing you to dart around to the shadiest spots as the sun makes its way across the sky. As if that weren't enough, it's also hammering rain outside, which really isn't doing much to stand I me mean, the sunlight. And you think the rain might be acidic too? Fun. Intermingled with the rain, you've been hearing some sounds coming from other rooms. rooms. Interrogations, maybe? torture? Whatever it is, you're not a fan. And would somebody please fix the leak in the roof? Uh, if you have to listen to one more drop of water exploding onto the floor like a nuclear fucking bomb, your shit is going to take an extended sabbatical from the handle? Huh. To conclude, it's not great. You'd like out. Right now, preferably. <laughs> Must be hate sex. Now? Oh, God damn it! You were hoping that somebody would conveniently appear in time with your internal monologue, but no such luck. Okay, whew, there she is. So is she my public defender? Is that what's happening here? Your new savior is small. Probably the smallest troll you've met so far, with the possible exception of Amesia. And she looks about as young as Amesia as well. She's got wild pigtails sprawling from her head and a twitchy look in her eye, like she's going to start sprinting the second her she hears a sound. She opens your cell door with a creak and gestures down, down the hallway with a quick jerk of her head. Come with me now. Quickly. Head down. Keep quiet. No asking questions. <laughs> Ask questions. Follow her. Um... Nope, that's... I wish you could see... I wish... Okay, you know what? Here, I'm just gonna switch this to a different camera so you can see my mouse. Because I want you to see this bullshit. Uh, bu -bu. There we go. Transition. Okay, so... Okay, so look where my mouse is. Okay. And look what is supposedly being clicked. What is this? What is this baloney? Anyway. Trying to click on the 9... 
Miles is on the nine and wants to click on this box right here. What the hell is this nonsense? Anyway. Ugh. Jesus Christ. Back to the game. Um, there we go. Okay, so that's saved. Well, clearly the wrong answer is to ask questions, so that's what we're going to do. Wait, wait, wait! You have so many questions! Which of your many lovely friends was willing to help you escape? Who is she? What's her deal? How did she know? She shushes you, and her eyes narrow into an, appra into an appraising squint as she looks you over. Not too bright, huh? Figures. Listen, I don't have time to explain. I'm not putting my neck out any further. So here's what we're going to do, okay? You're going to run. Not too far out, because you don't want to wind up in, un in, in undead territory. Undead territory? What? Stick to the city. Find a nice hiding place and keep your head down. See ya! She rather forcefully stuffs what appears to be a military-grade umbrella into your hands and shoves, that, and shoves you out the back door, into the rain and sunlight. When you turn to protest, the lock of the door clicks shut, and you're stuck outside. What was it she said about undead? <laughs> Game over. It really is an industrial strength umbrella. Uh, daywalkers. Oh yeah, daywalkers. There you go. Shadow droppers. Homestuck mentions that the undead Roma Turnia during the day. All oh, right, I forgot that little detail because I think it was literally mentioned once and never brought up again. Uh, yeah, the messed up hitbox on the save screen bothers so much. Are you using the default resolution? Yeah, I mean I am. Maybe it work if I used like a if you went to full screen. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it was mentioned during Kanaya's intro, and then never really brought up again. Unless you count the fact that Kanaya herself turned out to be undead, but... I don't know, whatever. So yeah, that was the failure, right? That was the uh, predictable failure. So let's load up. Load them up. Uh, I wish I could do a British accent, because I would totally make her sound like Aquamarine if I could. Follow her. You follow her down the hallway, keeping quiet as instructed, even though you have so many questions you want to ask her. Questions like, what her name is, or where you are, or why they haven't fixed the fucking leak in the roof. Instead, you just hurry closely behind as she takes you to a stairwell in the back of the building and up multiple flights of stairs. Peeking out the window of each door you pass, you see what seems to be an evidence locker, and then a row of tightly packed cubicles, and then a long, winding hallway. This is where she opens the door and ushers you through. The hallway is full of electronically locked doors with troll signs on them, the overwhelming majority of which are teal. The only other presence here seems to be, an automated, uh, seems to be automated cleaning robots. You are unsurprised to see that troll Roombas come with their knives pre-attached. <laughs> Nice. Knife Roomba. On Alternia, Knife Roomba is the only kind of Roomba. She punches a series of numbers and letters into a keypad beside one of the doors, bearing her sign and a name, and then slips inside and you follow. Stabby the Space Roomba. Woo! Here we are! My hive away from hive. That's a that's an imposing looking portrait right there. Anything else we can see in the room? Once again, her sign is obscured by the uh, by the text box. Not because they're like not because her uh, sign is so low, but because she is so, she is she is so short. Um, you can be a little louder now, but no shouting. That'd just be weird as hell, buddy. Oh, and my name's Tirana, by the way. You politely refrain from shouting as you introduce yourself to her. Tirana uh, picks up a chair and sits down at her hut. Pulls up a chair and sits down at her husk top, tapping some keys. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and, and access your files in our and access your and access your files in our system. 
Shouldn't be too hard to find since you were a weird alien. And yep, here we go. That's what we were looking for. Time to make a few edits. What are you doing? His honorable tyranny, indeed. Uh, oh yeah, the portrait is his honorable tyranny. Who we once saw get uh, decapitated by uh, Mind Fang. Once upon a time, or eviscerated. Point is she killed him with a sword. She leans in, fingers flying quickly over the keys. She's absurdly fast on the keyboard, her eyes darting back and forth across the screen. <laughs> Portraits under your face cam? Oh yeah, it is kind of hiding it, isn't it? Um, I can't really... I don't really want to move my camera because I'm going to spend ten minutes hiding it back. But yes, there's a portrait of his honorable tyranny, which uh, my face is currently occupying. Because I am the tyranny here. <laughs> now, normally I wouldn't pull anything this risky, and I certainly wouldn't be helping out a criminal. But I have, a, but I have it on a good source that you're not the kind of person we should be letting rot in the cell. Or worse. Right now you're in our system on a lot of weird and serious offenses. But you and... Uh, but you and I, we know that the only real thing you're really guilty of, the. But you and I, we know the only thing you really guilty of is trying to keep your head and shoulders attached. Yeah. Just gonna click here, delete a few things, and there we go. You're clean. Her lack of punctuation is a, uh, a bit of a question. So yeah, somebody sent uh, Tarona in with this. Uh. Tezius is a good guess. Fellow teal blood. Wow, just like that, huh? Uh, you thank her profusely, and even begin to consider groveling at her feet, but she cuts you off. Listen, I'm just doing the grunt work for you. Wasn't really my decision to spring you. Let's just say you and I have a mutual friend. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I want errands for him. Him. Sometimes in exchange for information. I just happened to be pulling an all day or over here anyway, so I was in the right place at the right time. Okay, so it's a he. And from the sound of it, it's not a teal blood. Well, it could be could be Gorgor, -gor, but from the sound of it, it's probably somebody who outranks her. You know? So uh hmm. Interesting. Yeah, Tagora is probably uh Tagore is the best bet, but I also want to say that it might be someone of a higher blood cast. Oh. This mutual friend of yours sounds like a dead ringer from Malak. Wow, knowing that Cerulean in high places is already paying you paying some great dividends. I mean, it could be. Maybe Malak? Yeah, it could be. Although, like, if it were Malak, you would think that he would be, uh... If it were Malik, you'd think that he would be, like, keeping you off the grid himself. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think I don't see why Tarona would be, uh, would need to, uh, hack into your file when Malik is the one pulling for you. It beats our data, at least. All you got from her were some really weird DMs on Chitter from her, from her stream followers. Anyway, speaking of being in the right place, in the right place, what is this place, anyway? Hey, and Sora Princess is here. This place is... Well, it's a lot of things. So to catch you up, uh, we finished um, Galek's route, which was great. He's a good boy. And we are just getting started on Tarona's route. Excuse me. Well, it's a lot of things. Jail and courthouse and office and a whole lot more. Basically, if you're a tea looking to learn how to tea how to do teal things, this is where you go for a hands-on internship. Internmentship. <laughs> Not internship. Internmentship. Most of it is law-related, of course, but there are a couple of semi-related fields in for the go-getters looking to do something a little different. Like me! Yep, I bet you're just dying to know what I get up to in these hollowed halls, don't you? Surely you brilliant line... Mind like Miss, 
Miss Kasoon is doing some real important work here in what I bet uh, is what I bet you're thinking. And you are absolutely correct, my friend. Feast your gra feast your gander bulbs on this <laughs> Smug Troll. Smug Troll is smug. A few clips of the really bulbous mouse and her husk top loads up several images. You glance at the screen and the recognition center of your brain goes haywire with dopamine. Alien culture or not, you know memes when you see them. God, you missed memes. Check it out! Check it out! They're a little corny, but I know Tree. Tree's just gonna love them. She's a real sucker for this kind of thing. <laughs> Uh, she is using memes to butter up to the heiress. That. There's a Donald Trump joke to be made there, <laughs> but whatever. One of them is an image ma ma acro featuring Trezia doing her makeup with the caption, Trezia is so hot, rebels are so not. Having randos on call everywhere is 100% Malik's style, as is being less of a hacker than he lets on. Eh, also possible. Another seems to feature troll brains, at least you hope they are brains, of varying sizes and chemo colors. Being a rebel is the small maroon brain. Sympathizing with, mar uh, with maroons is the medium-sized olive brain, and worshipping Tresia is the giant purple brain. These one, these ones be going all up on the web soon. But for now, I've got plenty other memes circulating. These ones will be, uh, yeah, these ones will be going up on the web soon. See, I made a bunch of fic chitter accounts and got some techie troll to automate them for me. He was hype. He was hyped out. He was hyped. He was hyped out the excitement nub to do some work on Trezia's behalf. I'll tell you. Some of these accounts just pretend to be regular trolls, and others are best jokes nightly, big, funny, relatable, laugh humor, you know? They're racking up the followers as we speak. And the point of them is to put these Trezia memes out there? <laughs> is there a <laughs> Considering her mandated po portrait in Zephyros' Hive has an all-your-base meme, I think that this plan has a good chance of working. Yes, me too. She does seem like, uh, Trezia does seem like a meme lord. Uh, and the point of them is to put these Trezia memes on the out there? That's how you, that's how you get them. You start with a couple of innocuous jokes and cute per beast, pic, per, per beast pics, and then BAM! Suddenly you're spreading the good word of the of the Empire, and everyone accepts it because your chitter account is so funny and hip. I call it... I call it Meme Agenda. It's going to be the next big thing, I tell you. It does seem like a cl pretty clever way of spreading propaganda. Really effective on today's modern youth. It's also deeply It also deeply unnerves you, uh, but you leave that part out. There's just something wrong about memes being used for evil. Yeah, like, this was something like, I stumbled across this, like, observation earlier, that, like, the fact that corporations are getting good at memes is also a little troubling. Like, you know, like, like the Arby's Twitter. The Arby's Twitter is hilarious! But it is also, like, an actual advertisement for a corporate chain of fast food restaurants. And... And, like, the fact that you're now going to... It's, like, the fact that you were now, now, like... So the fact that, like, this corporate entity, this corporate Twitter entity, is now, like, in my headspace in the same category as, like, you know, like, you know, top ten meme lists. It, it's just, it doesn't belong there. <laughs> like, it should not be... I, my brain should not associate Arby's with funny Twitter stuff. And yet it does, because that's what they do, and it's weird and unnerving. Or like, um... Or like the other day when, uh, like, like this made the rounds, I'm sure a lot of you saw this, where, when, uh, when the Good Place, uh, Twitter account did a Sweet Bro and Hella Jeff reference. You know, like... Like, what? 
How, why is a nationally broadcast TV show referencing Homestuck? What is this? Uh, never buy anything. Watch Minda play it instead. <laughs> uh, no, please don't. Like, support the corporations. So support what pumpkin? Uh, anyway. So, so, so. There's just something wrong about memes being used for evil. Wait, what show? The Good Place. Oh, yeah. Um, somebody linked that in chat for uh, Banjo. Like... Like, they, like there's a there's a, a tweet from the good place that is that just says they warned us about stairs. It was on their Twitter. <laughs> but yeah, somebody linked that in the chat because that was because that's worth seeing. <laughs> but it's weird that it happened. Thank you, thank you. Glad someone appreciates all the hard work I'm doing here instead of just brushing me off. I've had to do a lot of overtime playing out propaganda for the Empire lately. Just between you and me. Although this ain't exactly much of a secret anymore. There's talk of a rebellion being like a really big actual... Being like a real actual big scale... Big scale one instead of just a bunch of high bloods getting paranoid because of Burgundy looked at them funny. Interesting. Hmm. So is she like... So she's, so she she's either a double agent or she is very much on the side of the heiress, which is interesting. It's pretty scary, actually. I hope I won't get swept up in all of it if something nasty breaks out. And yet she's helping us. So yeah, there it is. It's uh, in chat now. Here, I'll she probably, I'll probably I'll put a link to this in the description of the uh, YouTube video too. But yeah, there is a. There is a sweet bro and hella Jeff meme on the Good Places official Twitter account. Yeah, that's the vibe you've been getting. You're about to ask more info about this rebellion when she cuts you off and keeps rambling on. It seems like she's got a lot to say. You get the impression that no one else here listens to her, possibly because she's still so young compared to most of them. Uh, but saving you from a jail cell is a good way to get you to pay attention. But here's the thing. Despite being a whole lot of potential trouble, it's also a great opportunity to show the Empire just how valuable my skill set will be for them. See, I've got it all planned out. First, I need to prove to Teezy how useful and clever I am, and how helpful I can be in her, uh, for her regime. Ah, uh, ba-ba. Then, when Treasy comes of age, she'll, she'll dethrone the current empress and take her place. Most trolls just love Treasy, and those who don't are going to get themselves culled real quick, so I'm sure she'll have plenty of support when the time comes for their, for, for their duel. Once she's in full power, I snag myself a nice position as her propaganda minister, and if I'm real lucky, I can weasel my way into being assistant to his honorable tyranny himself. His Honorable Tyranny? You don't think you've heard of that guy before? You assume he's a particularly high-ranking uh, troll in the le in the legisla legislative process? Yeah, well, representing a corporate entity, the people who... Cat... Your cat's rustling my mouse again. Okay. Did he knock my mic? No. Good. Yeah. In the last video, when I had to uh, wrestle my cat, he uh, accidentally knocked my mouse loop, my uh, mic loose. A thing to keep in mind is that while representing a corporate entity, that the people that run the social media accounts are still people. That is true, um, but but it's still like unnerving because and it is something to keep in mind. But the thing is, like like they are still speaking for a corporation. And, like, it, that is still, like, the voice of the corporate entity that is being broadcast out there on the Twitters. Oh, no, no. He's just a fuck-off huge monster who passes judgment on criminals by eating them. Or eating anyone who bugs him, really. He presides over particularly noteworthy trials, especially at, especially at the extreme court. In retrospect, you should have known. 
If monsters can be parents, they surely can be judges too. Er, but what exactly is the appeal here? Who wouldn't want to be big and handsome and strong enough to devour anyone who annoys you? It's the perfect life, I tell you. Fire alarm went off. What'd you miss? Um, a lot of discussion on the uh, questionable morality of corporations using memes. Extreme court is the best worst pun. Uh, is this before Summoner's Court? No, no, this is after. This is long after the uh, Summoner Rebellion. Yeah, it's like the... Uh, yeah, I think like... Uh, I think like the High Executioner does not count as a troll, so he's not an adult that was exiled. Who wouldn't want to be big and handsome and strong enough to devour anyone who annoys you? It's the perfect life, I tell you. Fair. Yeah, Mind Fang killed him, but this is clearly just a new one. She killed one of them, exactly. Fair. <laughs> as it stands, since I can't be him, I can't at least be his best buddy. And most... Sorry about that. Love my mic. Excuse me. As it stands, since I can't be him, I can at least be his best buddy and most perfect little helper. And besides, doing all the behind-the-scenes work is a lot safer than trying to actually hunt down or persecute criminals, and I'll tell you that much. Or prosecute criminals? I mean, yeah, he might eat me, but that's just normal workplace safety hazard, really. Nothing I can't handle. She really does have it all planned out, doesn't she? You're impressed. So I didn't really notice before because, like... Because her teeth are like pointy and it's weird, but she has like a huge gap in her front teeth, and it's really adorable now that I look at it. Thank you. But I can't do it all alone. I'm going to need some help along the way from a very talented and clever associate or two. I bet you know who I'm talking about. Her Lucius, her classmates. No, dummy! Shh! Here I am trying to butter you up, and it flies right, over, right on over your think pan. I'm talking about you! I need your help. And I think after bailing you out of that jam, I've earned it, wouldn't you say? The old I rake my craw craws down your back, and you rake your do yours down mine, dealy. You know. Troll idioms are still as inscrutable as ever, but you do know a thing or two about claws. And about helping people to earn their good graces. To earn their good graces, what she need? You ever hear the old adage, "Teals talk"? And while and well, a lot of teals have been talking about the strange uh, alien going around getting all buddy buddy with the cast. Uh, with the cast, yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. The way I see it, someone like someone like that might just know how to get me into their offices and dig up some dirt on them. And their potential rebel connections. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh. Ah, uh, she really is. She re the, uh. The uh, Aquamarine vibe continues. She is very loyal to the Empire. I keep saying they should start, uh, shelling out these. Shelling out for, uh. Uh, Gander Scan Tech, but nobody ever listens to me. No way. No way, no how. A regular old password system ought to be enough, right? Heh, <laughs> they wish. Yeah, they really wish those locks were as secure as they think they are. You can figure out the codes, no problem, I'm sure. She wants us to sell out, sell out Trees Teasius. Oh, this is the evil troll. The evil midget. This is the aquamarine of the friend sim. What do you say, pal? How's about you help me help those help help the Empire root out that rebel scum? Oof. You're not particularly keen on betraying your friends, but you owe Tirona Tyr uh, a favor now. And you'd love to make another pal while you're at it. There's got to be some way you can move your way out of this mess. You tell her sure or you'll offer her some help. If you're going to hit up somebody's office, it should be Uh, uh... Tagiri. Tagiri. 
I forgot who Takiri is. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um. Um. I think all Teal Bloods start with a T, actually. Like, literally every single one. Oh, yeah, he uh, Tagiri was the weeb. Yeah, literally every single Teal Blood we've met, their name starts with a T. Even dating back to uh, Terezi. Yeah, you have Terezi, Tagora, Tresius, Tagiri. Um, uh, I don't know what to do. Um... Oh, Latula didn't. Okay, good point. That was one. Uh, shh. Oh. Latula, yeah, Latula did not. Latula was the one. Uh, yeah, Terezi's ancestor is the only one who did not have a T name. Um... Well, Neophyte Regular just is Latulia. Like, that's just her actual name. Uh, Regular is the adult name. Um, so, Tezius... Tezius is the most rebellious troll... So, uh, so like invading her office would definitely um, butter us up to Aquamarine the best, but then we'd be selling out Tezius. Um, Tagiri is like the second best, and then Tagora is the least rebellious. So, uh. So, yeah, I think we're going to... Hmm. So, yeah, I think the... Hmm. So, I think, like, the way to go is... Like, the... the um, okay, so I think the... So, I think the, like... I think that Tagora is the safest option because Tagora didn't really give any kind of a rebel vibe at all. So, like, I think what happened is, like, we break into his office, we find nothing, and Aquamarine, go and Aquamarine goes, oh, well, but you tried. Um, we break into Tizia's office, we find that she is incriminating as shit, and Tezius gets called, and we get the unhappy happy ending, where Aqua, Aquamarine likes us, but Tezius is fucked. Tezius is fucked. Um, so, so like I think what we're going to do is we're going to go in what is probably going to be the most... Uh, we're going to take the worst option first and just work our way up to Tagora. And hopefully we will wind up having the least heartbreaking ending <laughs> for the finale, for the true ending to this uh, particular Let's Play. So, uh, okay, so let's let's help out Aquamarine. Let's do this. Ugh. It's got to be Tezius. She runs a tight, if sleep-deprived ship. You'll give it a good try, fail to find anything useful, and Torona will appreciate your attempt. Uh, no, this is gonna be bad. Tezius, huh? Yeah, she's got that vibe to her, you know? She talks a lot about improving the justice system, and, that, and what kind of person does that, huh? A real sympathizer, that's who. The Alternian justice system has worked just fine for hundreds of sweeps. The only pro the only person who ought to be pro uh, proposing changes is Treasy herself. But obviously there is nothing to change, so she's done it already. So, or she'd have done it already. 
Anyway, this is uh, Tizia's door right over here. So whether you start working your magic. An idea comes to you. You start tapping again away on your phone, much to your own chagrin. Uh, hey, buddy, we're trying to break into somebody's office. This is no time to play fla <laughs> fla flappy talents, Reacher. Uh, you explain that you're looking up uh, Teresia, uh, Tizia on your phone. Uh, excuse me, ah, something in my eye. To consolidate information and improve your chance of guessing her password. Whoopsie. Sorry, I'm just a little bit antsy here, I guess. Haha. <laughs> Carry on. Turning to the keypad, you start inputting your guesses. You try the birthday list in uh, Tizia's chitter profile. Nope. Even the name of her mate sprite doesn't work. Who was her mate sprite? I think it got mentioned at one point, but I don't remember. Then something clicks. Everyone expects a long, complicated password, right? You try just two paltry digits and said 60. No! No! You're... No! <laughs> ah, you fool! The signless? You use the sign of the. Ah, use the signless as your password? No! <laughs> ah. We don't even have to search her office. That's enough. That right there is enough to get her called. Oh. God. Ugh. Get some sleep and get a better path. Mm. <laughs> Uh, use the sign of the sufferer. Oh. <sighs> yeah, 69 is also a meme number. Yeah, I know it's a meme number, but that is very much not the relevant fact at the moment. <sighs> Light goes green. The door to our office slides open. Bingo. Yeah, the chat saying by troll standards, the password itself probably counts as evidence. Yeah. Yeah, just the fact that she has a password referencing the sufferer is probably enough to get her called in and of itself. It doesn't even matter what we find in her office at this point. Tizia is fucked. We have fucked her over. We have killed our friend, is what we have just done. <sighs> Feeling pretty chipper about your breaking and entering skills, you usher Torona inside with an exaggerated bow. She cackles and skips right in, making her way over to a hus top, sitting on Tezia's crowded desk. I press F to pay respect for Tezia's. There's papers and old mugs laying around everywhere, and the rest of the room is about as disorganized as the desk, with towering stacks of books threatening to collapse if you so much as breathe wrong. The Empire already monitors online communications, of course, but we bet uh, we've got tools for those sneaky sneaks who try to oop, bump my mouse, try to hide things off the cloud. Toronto produces a small device, bright red with gold accents, and plugs it into what appears to be a USB slot on the hu a hus top. It wriggles upsettingly. Where we go? Is this Stark Tech we've got? <sighs> Yeah, at least Tezius will uh, have time to sleep when she's dead. <sighs> I'll go through her files and you start looking through all the books and folders, okay? Oh. I don't even have the I don't even have the heart to act this out. This is just depressing. You offer a thumbs up and turn your attention to the absolutely massive pile of literature that is strewn throughout the office. Yeah, Tarona did not mention the password, so maybe she didn't see it. So there is, like, hope, but... Mm. You're not really giving it your full effort, hesitant to, to pry into her stuff. Maybe to get the sense that she isn't hiding anything here anyway. Behind you, uh, Aquamarine is, is clicking folders on the house top. 
the expression in her voice growing steadily growing the exasperation in her voice steadily growing useless school feeding assignments copies of court transcripts transcripts <laughs> a bunch of nudes it's all just normal teal stuff there's nothing incriminating on here at all where is she hiding it Tarona pushes away from the husk top and dives underneath the stack of books into the stack of books with the gusto of a small child in a ball pin in the ball pit, rifling through pages as quickly as she can. Is she awake enough not to leave anything in her office? Ugh. It isn't long before she gives up that pursuit too, emerging from the pile in a shower of loose pages. Ugh, I can't find any evidence of wrongdoing anywhere. Or is there hope? Is there hope? Whoop. Whoops. When I accidentally press the button. No hidden folders on her husk top. No secret stash between the pages of a book. Nothing. <sighs> what? Wait, is that a Loa Salamander in that snow globe? Uh, where is it? Um, I missed it. It must be hiding behind uh, the sprite. <sighs> she stomps back and forth, pacing around the room and scratching at her face absentmindedly. Maybe there just isn't anything to find. Is that so bad? Yes, if she's not bad, it's super bad. Oh, look, see? I'm not big and I'm not strong, and even if I get a growth spurt when I'm older, it won't change that I don't like to fight. There's just not what I'm cut out to do. I'm a thinker and a listener and a talker. Knowledge is power, and that is the only kind of power I'm good with. Uh, it's the only kind that will keep me in the game. Everyone's gotta play nice and get off my case, because... They'll know I've got, oh, uh, I've got the, because they'll know I've got the dirt. But all these shifty, crafty teal jerks keep trying to hide all of their secrets from me. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be hooped if I can't get on, get one over on them. Toronto yanks at her pigtails and slumps down against the wall, looking as frazzled as ever, as ever you've seen her. This calls for a pep talk. You sit down across from her and offer a gentle smile. You know where she's coming from. Sure. Uh, when you come here, you when you came here, you were a mess. You still kind of are. All you had were all you had was your guts, your mind, and your goofy charisma. You've been blundering your way across the planet, but somewhere in between all the blundering, you've made friends. You've gained skills. You figure out how to keep surviving, even when it seemed impossible. And if you can do it here, and if you can do it, she can do it. Sir, she might not be as big and strong as she'd like. She won't always win. Sometimes there's just going to be days like today where she doesn't succeed. <sighs> but she's got this spark in her. You can see it. That tells you she'll be fine as long as she keeps her head up and tries to hang in there. Toronto perks right up. Your motivational speech game is really on the ball today. Yeah. Yeah! You're right. This might have been a bust, but I sure ain't. I've already got all kinds of connections and pals and skills. I mean, the guy I run those errands for, he says I'm one of the smartest and cleverest teals he's ever met, and that I'm really mature for my age, and... <laughs> uh, uh, that's, a, that's a great face. <laughs> you never find out what else he says, because... Hmm... Oh, well, this is about to happen. Never find out what else he says, because you're in interrupted by the sci-fi whoosh of the office door opening as Tizia steps through. There's a long, awkward, awkward pause before she raises an eyebrow to Rona. Now just... What? In the hell... Are you two doing in my office? Tirona begins a stammered response, but Tizia jerks her head towards the door. Yeah, I'm going to need you to get out. Right now? She turns to you. Not you. You, we need to have a chat. If Torona planted a bug, we might still be fucked. And of course, this is, this is Alternia, so the bug might be a literal bug. But, oh, uh, no. D I... I don't want to talk. Not Xnay on the talkie K. This is a bad time to talk. Torona flashes you a terrified look before scurrying out of the room. 
uh, room door slams shut behind her. Tizia glances at the door, then pulls you towards the most secluded corner of the room, where books are piled so high they practically, they practically reach the ceiling. Which is the same pile of books that Toronto was just crawling through. Uh, I'm nervous. Something bad's gonna happen. Spidey sense is tingling. She speaks in a low, hushed whisper. A good, a good idea, because you'd bet a troll buck or two that Toronto's listening outside the door. Hey, so... That was some good thinking, texting me as soon as you got your palm husk back. Oh, 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 thank God. Oh, I can't even. MSPA reader's got a brain in him. Oh. Oh. Okay. You shrug humbly. You're getting good at leveraging your bountiful stockade of friends. She probably wiped her files from the computer remotely. Let's hope. This could still go wrong. This could, this could still go wrong. I wonder what she thinks I'm going to do to you. There's a lot of rumors about me. Most of them untrue. But when you look as tired as I do every day, trolls whisper. She chuckles lightly and takes a sip of water before sighing. I love that that, like... Water is a good idea. Uh, before sighing. I can't believe she thought I'd ever be dumb enough to keep incriminating documents on my in my office. She must be getting real desperate to prove herself. This is exactly my point about how fucked up it is here. Everyone trying to climb over each other out of the muck and pull the rest of, and pull the rest down, like shell scullers in a seafood storage device. Poor girl. She thinks she's got everyone on the in the palm of her husk, but she's playing a but she's being played as much as any of the rest of us schmucks. Another sigh. You feel like sigh may as well be Teresia's se Teresia's second quirk. Well, you've already heard enough from me about all that. Go pretend I chewed you the fuck out or something. I need to reorganize all this shit now that she's ruined my old system. Uh. Uh. Her office looks far better organized than it did when you walked in, actually. But you're not about to split hairs over it when Tizia just bailed you out of a potential da disaster. You thank her, give her a quick hug, and then slip out of the office. Tarona nearly falls over herself, scrambling away from the door, where she was clearly trying to listen in. Whoa! You're here? And still alive? And in one piece? <laughs> that face is adorable. <gasps> it's like the most anime look I've ever seen on any of the trolls so far. That must have been a real close one. You know what she does to people who cross her, right? Well, I'll give you a hint, pal. It starts with disembowelment and only gets worse from there. Uh-huh. How'd you make it out? Oh, you know, talking your way out of the jam, it's a total breeze. Torona seems starry-eyed and impressed. You sure do know how to handle yourself, especially for a weird alien. I think you and I ought to stick together. Technically, you don't owe me anything anymore. The best little people best work in numbers, you know? Work best in numbers, you know? You could use a friend like me. Ugh. Excuse me. You bask smiling in the now familiar glow of camaraderie. Yeah, you could use a friend like her. And you think you could use a friend like... And you think she could use a friend like you, too. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, God. It's exhausting. Uh, you did good. You did good, MSPA reader. It was a good one. I did. Uh. Oh. 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 Uh. 
<laughs> people in chat saying uh, they didn't want to play that one because they were afraid something bad would happen to Tezia. It's like, yeah, no, nothing bad happened. We're all good. <laughs> if that was the good ending. <laughs> oh. But what are we in for if... I like how I... Yeah, I accidentally kept the good ending trying to pick the bad ending. Uh, but, uh, so now... Fuck, but that means something bad is probably going to happen to Tagora or uh, Tagiri. Uh, okay, well. Tagora, Tagiri. You say it, Tagora. I say it, Tagiri. Tagora, Tagiri. Tagora, Tagiri. Why can't we just be friends? Uh, okay. All right, so yeah, so yeah, so nothing bad happened to Tezius. Okay, I don't know. Let's to go and see what happens. I have no idea what to expect anymore. I really don't. Uh. Yeah, Tagiri might have one small skeleton in his closet. Yeah, he does. Like, there was that one time where he let a uh, rebel olive blood live. So, yeah, it's. Curious. It's. it's uh, yeah, yeah, it's like. <laughs> you say potato, I say subterranean uh, starch tuber. Uh, so, yeah, it's. So yeah, like, Tagiri was my second choice for bad things happening because we know he had some rebel sympathies. But, like, Tagoro uh, Tagora could, uh, like, surprise us. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. He's real smart and a good talker, and he's always got that latest gossip. So you think he'd be my kind of guy. But he's also such a sleazeball. Sleaze sleaze like a real creepy creepy creep creepster not to mention he charges out the out the sniff tube for all his info no thanks i'll handle it myself oh but imagine imagine the scandals if he turned out to be a rebel all along i really hope we find something on him here <sighs> how was anyone supposed to know about tagiri uh uh helping poly 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 well, we're about to investigate him, so... She was supposed to be culled. <sighs> After some leet hacking, that is, punching his wriggling day and <laughs> punching his wriggling day into the keypad, the door to his office cre creeps open, cr clicks open. The two of you slip inside and you glance around. You are immediately reminded of his hive, almost eerily reminded of it, in fact. Did... Did he just order copies of all the same minimalist uh, uh, aesthetic furniture and have them sent to his office? That's... Well, you don't know exactly what that is, but it's certainly impressive. <sighs> hmm. You know, I'm not sure if that was a... If that's... If that vase is regulation. Take a picture of it, uh, just in case. Uh, will ya? Sure thing. And if you happen to accidentally delete the picture later... Well, actually, you have actually deleted a bunch of pictures before. Figuring out your troll phone has been a, has been an ordeal. You line up your capper and take the the shot, and oh fuck! You are about to press the button. Your phone received as you were about to press the button. Your phone received an incoming call from someone, and you ended up paying the answer call button instead. Now you're going to be trapped in a social encounter that you weren't mentally prepared for. No! Wait, it's just Tagoro. Tagora. <laughs> She's sorry. That's no problem at all. He's gregarious and easy to talk to, and you're standing in his office. Fuck. Again. <laughs> Wanted to get more of a... Uh, more of Awkward Marine's uh, scared posture. Wonder what uh, Tagiri's office is going to look like? Well, we're going to find out. Throwing on your most practiced everything is perfectly fine expression, you try to angle the camera so he can't tell where you are. 
My apologies for bothering you on such short notice. <laughs> Look at the little symbol in the, uh, in the corner there. <laughs> His call sign is Better Call Gorgor. <laughs> Better Call Gorgor. I've not been keeping up with Better Call Saul. I watched the first season and a half, I think. It was good. We just haven't been keeping up with, up with it. Because, like, I binge-watched uh, uh, Breaking Bad. And so, like, the fact that I can't binge-watch all of Better Call Saul in one go makes it harder for me to keep up with that one. But, like, once it ends, I'll watch the whole thing, and I'm sure it'll be great. Anyway. I recently learned through the grapevine that you may have been responsible for certain exchanges in... Uh, Zagistia's attitude as of late? Oh! What? <laughs> but that's happening concurrently with this! That... Timeline's fucked, man. I thought it might be prudent to let you know that... Wait. Is that... My office? Did you break into my office? <laughs> oh god, no, it's not his office, it's just, um... An office that coincidentally happens to look exactly like his? <laughs> his face has been frozen mid-smile, and now it slowly seems to twist, until the smile doesn't look nearly as friendly or genuine as it did a moment ago. He starts to laugh, little, little raspy chuckles under his breath. <laughs> uh, I see, I see. More the fool was I to ever believe I could trust a fellow liar. <laughs> Is this Galek's work? No, no, it can't be. He doesn't do that kind of subterfuge. It was all just a game to you. Yes, that must be it. Of course it was. You're not here to make friends. <laughs> what? No, that's exactly what you're here to do. Well, I mean, he's half right. This is kind of all just a game to you. <laughs> like... He, like, he's right on that score. <laughs> the bills I so graciously forwent for your sake. Huh. Well, no matter. You can expect a very hefty invoice to arrive via email as soon as I finish typing it up. No! Please, no! It doesn't have to end this way. You were just trying to secure another friendship. He knows how it goes, right? Saying or doing anything for a bit of social gain? Oh, but of course. I would be very happy to continue our business relationship in the future. Once I've been reimbursed in full for my time and expenditures. Farewell. He ends the call and his face disappears. The friendly little boo sound that gripe makes cannot possibly underscore the finality and tragedy of this situation. Your heart truly is broken. But hey, at least you can train one friend for another, right? Now that she's seen what you're willing to sacrifice for her, surely Tarona will. Tarona? Ah, shit. At some point while you were distracted, she made a break for it. Now that you're left with naught but a hefty fine and an ache in your chest where friendship used to be? <laughs> uh, there goes the money again. <laughs> she ran away. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, well, that was... Well, that was tragic, but that was exactly what we deserved, frankly. Uh Okay. Final round. We are actually at minus one friend. We didn't even fail to gain a friend. We lost a friend. Where did I go wrong? I've lost a friend somewhere along in the bitterness. And I would have stayed up with you all night had I known how to save a life. Do, 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 do. It's a very, a very musical mood of late. All right. Next up to Geary. This one, we might actually find something bad in his office. Like, or his workspace, whatever he has. Something referencing the fact that he has shown mercy to rebe rebellious folk. Or at least shown mercy to people that ought to be culled. After mulling it over for a while, you decide that Tagiri is the safest choice. Sure, he's the guy with a sword, but he's also by far the least likely to harbor rebel sympathies, so you won't be getting anyone, anyone in trouble here. Yeah, yeah, T 
Tagiri. Now that's an interesting choice, I'll tell you what. He's always sucking up to the purple, the, to the purples and trying to make himself look all cool and knowledgeable about law stuff. So you'd think he'd be clean, but maybe, just maybe, it's all a front. I'm working on a video about rebel sympathizers right now, actually. And that's one of my big, bold points that I go over. How sometimes the guy trying so hard to look like he's on the level is actually so far off the level as it, as far off the level as it gets. Which was kind of what I was hoping uh, was the deal with Tarona, but that seems not to be the case. She seems to just be actually fully committed to the system. Oh god, she's a YouTuber. Everyone here is a YouTuber. So yeah, let's see what this guy is hiding, why don't we? Mosey on over to his door, you can see her the keypad. This shouldn't be a hard password to guess. It's got to be the name of one of his favorite animes, right? You punch one in and... nope, a buzzer sounds. You try another, nada. But to your delight, the door clicks and begins to slide open after a third anime title. You glance over your shoulder to see Tarona beaming at you from right behind you, then turn back to see to the door and... Yikes! A katana comes swinging out towards you on a wire. The you, and you narrowly dive out of the way before it connects, crashing to the floor in the process. <laughs> he booby-trapped the door. That's great. <laughs> you groan and stagger back on your feet, and hear a familiar voice sounding from a speaker in Tagiri's office. Foolish evildoer! Do you really think that would be that simple? You've fallen for my trap! Your three pitiful guesses were all it took to seal your doom. <laughs> Not that it's going to do you any good while you bleed out on the floor. Sayonara, trespasser. The message seems to cut off there. But then there's some muffled sounds, like a microphone being moved. What do you think, Tadashi? It's going to look so cool when I show it off to my colleagues. Uh, you breathe a sigh of relief. That katana was aiming right for your head. You almost got skewered. Talk about a close one, right, Tarona? Tarona? <laughs> she just ran. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> well? This has been my let's play of I've swapped volume 12 <laughs> and it ended with us accidentally killing a gremlin okay Jesus Christ <laughs> uh, this is the second time um yeah we killed uh Damien yeah, yeah, it's like we killed Damien the one time. Um, who, it's... We also got, uh... You know, and we got, uh, Applejack's, uh, Lucius kidnapped, dognapped. She didn't see the katana because we were in the way. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. No, Bronya lived. Uh, we just killed a whole bunch of, uh, Rieglers. Um, no, yeah, 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 Bronia is not the name of the character. That always reminds me of my little pony. Much to everybody's confusion. Um, yeah, Skyla is the pony. Bronia is the, uh, is the mob. Yeah, Bronia did not die. A bunch of Reelers did. And then she kicked us out of the, uh, troll, of the, uh, cave. Um... <laughs> Diamond. <laughs> yeah, I keep calling Diamond Damien. Sorry. Uh, Diamond. I did call her Ponya by accident, though. Yeah, that's 
entirely believable. I get these names mixed up all the time. So, um... Alright, so we just murdered a child. And, uh... Mm. <laughs> uh, oh. Okay. Well, let's, uh... Let's, uh... Let's let, let, let damn it, damn it, skip too far ahead. Let's uh, end it on a nicer note. I think. It's... Technically, Tagiri murdered a child. Um, yeah, we should have done Tezius last. Uh, so, so that happened. <laughs> um. So he murdered a smug troll and befriended her in various timelines. <sighs> Damn it. Okay. <laughs> Man, that was an that was an emotional roller coaster right there. Just like so many ups and downs throughout that entire let's play of Tirona's story arc. Oh, <sighs> Exhausted after all that, so uh, <laughs> so yeah, I'll uh, I don't have time to upload these tonight before work to YouTube. Uh, if I remember to upload them tomorrow, I will do so. But yeah, that was great. That was in a that was a ride, man. It was such a ride. Yeah, everybody was all worried. It's like all of us were worried about something bad happened to Tezius, and then. And then the gremlin was the one who ended up getting killed <laughs> in the one route. Uh, sign is Liblo. Liblo, sign of the inescapable. Uh, she is a she is a prospect dreamer of heart. Uh, I need to lay down after that. <laughs> that was a that was exhausting and amazing. Whew. That was a great route, I tell you. Sign of the inescapable, indeed. All right, well, that's that's the end of that, folks. Jeez. Okay, I need a. Whew, need some more water. Tezius, hook me up with some of that sweet, sweet water, would you? Hmm. Oh, I'm lightheaded. Okay, that's the end of that video. Um, I'll see you next time there's a friend sim out. Actually, hang on. What day is today? So, yeah, I don't know my work schedule that far in advance. Well, so, yeah, I do not know my work schedule for... The next friend sim will probably be in October. First week of October. And I don't know my work schedule yet, but looking ahead, there's a good chance I will have off that night. So... So that'll be good. So I'll be able to uh, live blog. So I'll be able to stream it on Friday night again, as per usual. They should sell mugs with uh, Tezius' sign on them. I would buy the shit out of that if they sold that. Mm. Okay. So yeah, that's the end of that video. All right. See you next time, folks.